Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have a huge mystery box, well, mystery bag from Sheen. I have no idea what's in here. All I know about this mystery bag is it's full of summer travel, summer holiday essentials. Sheen sent me this and asked me to do an unboxing video and review everything that's in here. So get a drink, get some food because this is gonna be a long video. This bag is full to the brim. I have opened it, but I haven't had a look inside yet. I'm just gonna kind of pick out whatever I see first. So the first thing I can see is this box. Oh, it says on it, lavender bath salt. Lavender bath salt by the brand Slow Sunday. I haven't heard of Slow Sunday before, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. Ooh, as soon as I took the plastic off, it smells like lavender immediately. I'm interested to see what the packaging looks like. Oh, that is actually really, really cute. It just says on the front, Slow Sunday Lavender Bath Salt. Um, same on the top. That's what they look like inside. So far, so good. Let's see what we've got next. A couple of nails here. They're kind of fallen out of the places, but these are some little nails with some gems on. Um, oh, comes with a nail file as well, apparently. Ah, okay, so these come with the little glue on stickers rather than the actual like nail glue. Um, it's like more like press ons. I haven't worn like press on nails since I was probably about six or seven. These are gonna be interesting to try. The other nails that I saw look like this. I think these are toenails. I've never wore toenail fake nails before, but I mean, I'll give them a try. These are press on as well with the little blue dot things. So they're also so cute. What is this? I think these are temporary tattoos. Yeah, I think they are. I think they're temporary tattoos. A heart monitor with a heart and a butterfly. A bit random, but cool. Oh, nice, a razor with multiple razor heads. This is really handy because I needed a new razor. It looks a lot like the Venus razor. Like the handle looks pretty much identical to the Venus one that I've got. And it has the same little clip in so you can clip on all the different heads. That's really cool. Okay, next, what is this? That is so cute, a little bag. Let's see if there's anything inside. Well, not a bag, a little holder. Oh, this is adorable. This is like a tiny little travel brush set. This is perfect for traveling. This is perfect to take in your hand luggage if you want to top it with makeup. Or oh, it's even perfect just to put in your handbag. This is so, so cute. It has quite a few little brushes. It also has a spoolie and then two bigger brushes. This is definitely gonna come in so handy. I love that. What we got next? What are these? I think these are little travel size liquid containers. Yeah, they are. So these, if I can open it, this is what the containers look like. These are really, really cute. It's a little spray bottle liquid container. So you could put any kind of liquid that you want in here and it's small enough to put in the little uh, plastic bag and take through security in your hand luggage. These are so, so cute. Definitely handy for summer and going on a summer holiday. What is this? Why is it brown? Look, it's got like some brown stuff on the top. I don't know what that is. Should I be scared? I don't know. What is this? All right, you must put that on here. But what is it? Well, that must clip onto there somehow, so you like hang it. But I don't understand what it is. Maybe it's to put like your toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff in. Actually, I think that probably is what it is because it's for traveling. So it's probably to put your toothbrush, toothpaste, or you could probably put some makeup brushes or something in here. So it could actually come in handy. I was just very confused as to what it was. Oh my gosh, these are so tiny. Look how tiny these little dropper bottles are. Look how teeny that is. These would be perfect for like putting in your handbag for a night out or something. Like if you want to just carry like a little bit of foundation maybe or a little bit of concealer, I don't know. Definitely, definitely travel sized. These are tiny. Next. All right, these are just 
a load of tiny little plastic bags, I suppose. Yeah. Teeny, tiny little Ziploc bags. I don't know what you could put in here. It might be good for like little elastic band hair bubbles or something, or I don't know, if you have something tiny that you need to keep safe, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, some more makeup brushes. Oh my gosh, it's a little set again. What? So it has some little tiny makeup brushes on one side. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know why it twists. But one side is a big fluffy brush. This is actually really, really nice. It feels lovely. And then the other side has three smaller brushes. Oh, oh, why is this so fiddly? I think maybe you twist it. Yeah, so you twist it to get that back in there so you can put the lid back on. That makes sense now. This is really handy for traveling as well. Ooh, next is a box. Some scissors. Oh! I think I know what this is. I think this is a mirror. It is. This is a little mirror. It has a little stand and it looks like it lights. Oh my God, it has three different light settings. That is so cool. That is really, really cool. I love this. And it just folds away and it could fit nicely in a handbag or in your hand luggage or something to travel. That is really, really cool. I really like this. It comes with a little charger as well, so you can charge it up. Next, there's a big case thing in here. So let's have a look and see what this is. Big black case with a handle. Has it got anything inside? It's one of their makeup organizer case things. I've seen these before all over the internet. These, you can take a bit out. You can make sections bigger or smaller, or you can put the sections wherever you want. And it's just too, I can't put it back in now. I got too excited and I broke it. Oh no, I haven't, I fixed it. You can organize all your makeup in here. There's like a little pocket at the top to put your brushes in. There's a little zip pocket on the side, so that goes right in to there, so you can store stuff in there as well. I'm definitely going to sort my makeup out and store it all in here. I absolutely love this. I am over the moon with this. Got another bigger parcel. This has got that brown stuff on it as well. I think maybe something in this bag has either leaked or broken, because this is covered in that sparkly brown stuff. Oh my gosh, this looks like a carton of juice. The box is like squishy. I think this might have exploded. This is by the brand Slow Sunday as well. Oh, I really hope this hasn't exploded. It feels like this is broken. I really hope it's not. The box is a little bit soggy. Look how squishy and soggy the box is. No. Oh, it's still got some in. I think it definitely has leaked. You can see it's definitely, definitely leaked. Yeah, the top's been unscrewed a little bit. But I'm so glad that it hasn't completely leaked so I can still actually use it. This is a moisturising face mist, hydrating with vitamin C. This is what it looks like. I feel like I recognise this packaging from somewhere. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a dupe of something because I feel like it is. I just don't know what. I'm really liking this brand Slow Sunday. It's the same as the lavender bath salts. It's the same brand. Oh, the spritzer is really nice. I like it. It smells a little bit like sun cream. The bottom is like, I don't know if the bottom's supposed to be like that because it won't stand up. Maybe the pressure in travel or something. I don't know, but that will not stand up with that little bulbous bit on the bottom. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not. The packaging, apart from that little bit at the bottom is really, really cute. And I really like it even though it did explode a little bit. Oh, we've got some more nails. These have also got that brown thing on. I'm waiting to see what that actually is. Little press-on nails. I quite like the cute little pink colour. I don't really wear press-on nails that much, but I might have to now. What's up next? Ooh. Oh, look how cute this is. This is a little travel-sized thing with little containers in it has one of them kind of lids so you can like pour and squeeze out whatever you put in there's two of them ones one bigger one 
and then there's two smaller ones as well and that's like a little pot these are like silicone so they're slightly squishy i've just noticed as well it comes with this little pack of stickers so you can stick on say one says facial cleanser makeup remover eye cream so you can stick on whatever you've put in the bottles on other bottles that's really cool next i don't know oh oil absorbing paper so these are like blotting paper so you'll carry these around in your purse or in your bag and then if you get a bit oily throughout the day you can use one you just blot it does that stop i don't know if i'm very oily at the minute oh yeah look it's picked up some oil off my face these will be handy just to carry around in your bag if you know me, you know I am like a Friends super fan. This is Friends times Sheen. What? These are so cute. <gasps> These make me so happy. They are little hair bubbles with all the little Friends things on. Oh, they're so cute. The turkey with the bears and the lobster these are really really cute i need to go to some like friends themed things so i can wear these or i could just wear them in my daily life they're not really my kind of style they are a bit childish but i think they're really really cute that is adorable all right we've got a few more things here's some little gems glow in the dark tattoos how cute these have got that stuff all over them what is broken in here i'm definitely gonna have to put on some temporary tattoos just for fun how cute what? oh i think i've found a culprit oh no oh no oh i know what that is as well that's fake tan i can smell it that is definitely fake tan oh i'm gutted about that because i really wanted some fake tan I can't even really open it. The thing with fake tan is if it gets on my hands, it's gonna stain. But I wanna open it, so we're just gonna risk it. Hopefully it doesn't get on my clothes. Oh, I'm so gutted about this. Oh no, fake tan everywhere. Oh no, I'm making a mess here. What? The bottle shrunk. <gasps> no way. Look at that! It must have shrunk during transport. It must have been, it must have came on the plane or something. I don't know, but that is horrible. Now it makes sense why that other thing was all misshapen as well. Maybe that's not even meant to be the shape of the other one either. But look at that. I am so gutted about that because I really wanted to fake tan. That's the size of the lid and this the rest is just shrunk. Hold on, I'm gonna have to go and wash my hands and my legs because I've got it everywhere. My hands are a tiny bit stained, but I managed to get most of it off. I've been looking for some fake tan everywhere because I can't find any in Tenerife. Okay, what have we got in here? We're at the last couple of things now. This one, and I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so we've got some silicone spoons with spatulas on the end. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is for... I don't know what this is for. This is the last thing in the bag. This is a little bottle with a pump on the top. Thank you so much to Sheen for sending me all this and I'm so gutted about the fake tan. I'm so gutted about that but everything else was so cool. This one I think is misshapen. So I'm gonna have to try and find a picture of this on Sheen's website and put it up here um, because I don't know what this is actually meant to look like but I don't think it's supposed to look like this. I think this has definitely been misshapen on the plane or in some kind of transit. It's definitely warped. It's not supposed to have this bottom like that. I'm trying to choose what my favorite thing out of this haul is and I don't know if it's the mirror or if it's the makeup bag but I love both of them. I literally can't decide. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxing videos and hauls. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.